I've been using RxJS for many years now, and whilst a lot of the time I use the same basic set of tools and techniques, I still end up getting constantly surprised by just how powerful and deep RxJS is when you need it to be. Most recently, I used a combination of buffer count, observe on, and animation frame scheduler for the first time for a massive performance win. Before we get into the code, let's first understand the problem. I'm building this game with Angular and Phaser, and the player is able to walk infinitely to the east or west. As they cross a certain threshold, a new chunk will be loaded in off screen, and when that happens, a bunch of new items need to be spawned in. If we zoom out, we can see that happening. The problem is that we are trying to create and render about 900 items all at once. Each operation happening here is relatively cheap, but trying to do all 900 at once in a single frame results in a slow frame and noticeable lag every time it happens. So that's where this beautiful combination of RxJS comes into play. Whenever I want to add a bunch of new items, I just next this subject with the positions they should be created at. These positions are represented as an array of tuples representing the X and Y coordinates. I convert those positions into a stream, so now rather than all the positions being emitted at once, each tuple will be emitted individually. Now, this buffer count is not strictly necessary. We could just process one item at a time, but that results in very slow item generation. The FPS is fine here, but it's sort of over-optimized on computation in the sense that now it could be using far more resources to speed things up than it actually is. So buffer count is added to batch these emissions into 20 at a time, meaning we will render 20 items to the screen in one batch. I'm using concatmap because I want to handle these batches of 20 one at a time, but I also want to make sure I handle all of them. And then finally, we need to introduce a delay of some kind to spread handling these batches out over multiple frames, because otherwise this observable stream will still just emit synchronously. An efficient way to do this is to use ObserveOn in combination with Animation Frame Scheduler. ObserveOn effectively allows us to change when a stream emits. So we have this original stream of the batch of item positions which will emit immediately, but then we use ObserveOn to create a stream that will emit those values at some other time based on the scheduler we pass to ObserveOn. In this case, by using Animation Frame Scheduler, we are able to get this stream to emit just before the next browser repaint, which is an efficient way to do animations similar to using request animation frame, but this allows us to effectively split up these batches of item renders across multiple frames, meanwhile keeping the rest of the interactions nice and responsive. The end result looks like this, where rather than all of the items being rendered in all at once causing slow frames, they are rendered in this staggered fashion and the player is still free to move around smoothly whilst that happens. This probably isn't the kind of thing you're going to need to do very often, but a very useful thing to add to the bag of RxJS tricks. If you found this video interesting, a like or subscribe before you go would be greatly appreciated and I hope you have a great day.